Trans uh, instrumental trans communication is related to the communication between our side and other dimensions. The last uh, 30 years, more or less, I started to recording. I nearly do it every, every day. And I started uh, recording with a simple cassette tapes. And uh, presently, we have full dialogues with the other side with very extremely good quality. Uh, either in voices, the, the voices are very, very clear. And the trans images, um, many of them look as uh, it was a video from Earth. So we reached a very good quality in these contacts with the other side. And what I do is uh, to record, usually uh, to help mothers or parents who lost their child and suffer. Mm -hmm. And I, I have been seeing in all these years that uh, instrumental transcommunication is a, a great relief. It is not the only thing that we can do, but it is possibly one of the important things that we can do, which is to help people. You know, uh, I have been seeing many, many moms who are suffering extremely and uh, discovered that uh, their child didn't die. So it is a new life for these persons. And I think that this is an important contribution that instrumental transcommunication can do. I think that in images, I think that um, the ones we record are the, the most clear from anywhere. I think that they are extremely clear. It is impressively clear, but there are a lot of people uh, recording images and mainly voices. Mm -hmm. Usually the persons start with voices. Many moms record their sons and daughters, and this is very important for their lives, for a relief for their soul. So I've been working for the last months in American cases, let's say. I invited some persons, usually moms that lost their children, to participate of a group so that I could record information and contacts from these children. This is one of the things that I'll be presenting. There are extremely interesting evidences uh, of reality of these contacts with the witness of these moms. I'm still working on many cases, not only uh, about this I'll be speaking, but also about the communication with the living people, which I consider of extreme uh, importance for medicine, because it is a, a door that can help the patient. We discovered that any patient with any severe brain damage is able to communicate through devices. For instance, a person in coma or a person who has Alzheimer's or an autistic. We have been experimenting with all, all this sickness and it is uh, fantastic how this person can communicate. Even healthy people can communicate too while uh, he or she is sleeping. Mm -hmm. So this is an investigation about consciousness which opens doors for new views uh, of consciousness because uh, People has no idea that uh, these persons who are mute because they are ill in a bed for year, years, many times, and they can speak. And they can say if they are suffering, if uh, he or she um, would like to listen to a music, would like to call a relative, to speak to a son, to speak to a father, so it is a new door for medicine. I'm glad that we are successful in these experiments. I'll be showing something in this matter. And also, possibly, I'll be showing the communication that we are registering from the future, uh, which is an experiment that I made with the medium Suzanne Wilson. And we recorded a very rare communication and it is extremely fascinating. It is said to be from the future. We are still studying and um, investigating it. And all this will be, I, I'll be showing in the symposium.